three quick thoughts about the shooting of Isaiah Brown. This is this is your next police brutality case, America. The shooting of Isaiah Brown. You couldn't. This is an Eric Garner case. This is. Isaiah Brown is a perfect victim. So there's been several. Elijah McClain was a perfect victim. Eric Gardner was a perfect victim. Breonna Taylor was a perfect victim. Fred Hampton was a perfect victim. They did absolutely nothing wrong. They did absolutely nothing wrong. Isaiah Brown didn't do a goddamn thing. He had a telephone in his fucking hand, you stupid fucks. He's the one that called 911. You assume he's the victim. What the fuck is wrong with Spotsylvania County, Virginia? This is... Spotsylvania County, Virginia. So there's three comments I want to make. The first one is you assume he's the goddamn victim. Do you not? He's the one calling for your fucking help, you pieces of shit. 911 is there for a mercy, for a crisis. You're going to pretend that what? Some people's concerns in crisis isn't as important as other people's concerns in crisis. I think that the biggest difference for that 911 dispatcher's world in Isaiah Brown's world He's a gay black man. Isaiah Brown is a gay black man. He's a target for the police, for every, haters, homophobes, racist. For the 911 dispatcher, she didn't realize that you could, you know, cop could be on some bullshit, not see what the fuck is going on, and shoot a person dead in the street. She's so flippant. She is such an asshole. That 911 dispatcher, oh my God, I'll talk about her at the very end. They're going to make a deal, big deal about he had said some things on the 911 call about wanting to kill his brother. He had asked the brothers to get him the gun. And he's trying to get through to her, and it sounds like he might be a little bit drunk, but she is being mouthy. And so he is just trying to get her attention. Call, you know, I need some help. You don't know what the fuck was going on. As soon as you get on that phone, he could just been acting like an angel. And even, even then, the brother is right there, and he's like, what, you calling the cops again, right? So, what, looming over him, intimidating him, menacing. Brother had the gun. The brother had the gun. Isaiah Brown said, give me the gun, because he didn't have a gun. He didn't, he owned one, but he didn't have one on him at the time, which is what he told 911 dispatch. So the brother had the gun, and then the brother said, you're making me mad. The brother said, you're calling the cops again? He's got the gun. You're making me mad. I'm more worried about that brother with the gun. And I wonder, too, again, with the fucking dispatch, how many times do we got to call the goddamn cops to get some fucking help? Maybe it doesn't sound like it's anything to you on that goddamn 911 call. Or maybe there's, it's in, you know, a tiny little thing that's indicative of something fucking big and major. Who are you to fucking judge? I always thought that 911 had to send a cop out. So if you call 911 and then hang up, then that means the cops got to come out, right? Hang up. 911 hang ups. That's. So this is absolutely terrible. Isaiah Brown is going to get murdered just plain day for no fucking reason whatsoever. The 911, I feel like she set the culture, she set the tone. And they might say, oh, no, no, no. You don't understand. Isaiah Brown, he always gets drunk and he always calls the dispatch and, and you, what, dismiss him and you don't take him serious and you don't give a shit. He's a target. Gay black man. Maybe he's on some bullshit sometimes, but I'd rather be on the safe side. And then, you know, so Maldi 911, what is she saying? She's saying a bunch of shit, right? She's very dismissive. She's, you know, sitting there t just talking down to him and like, what? How is that emergency? He's trying to get his stuff. He needs to get into the mom's room to get his keys so he can go, you know, somewhere. But for her, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't register being an emergency. She don't give a shit. Oh, Isaiah Brown. You silly old goat. So Isaiah Brown realizing cops aren't going to come. Well, shit. Then he's got to, you know, 
pop off or something to get their attention, and he did. The 911 dispatch lady didn't take him serious, and then he said that thing where he was going to, you know, hurt his brother. It's a gay man. You can tell by the tone of his voice. It's more like, you know, ooh, I'm frustrated with you. Maybe he just, I think he said it intentionally to get their fucking attention. It has nothing to do with, there's a situation going on at the fucking house. You're not going to send somebody? Is that what the fuck you're saying? You're not going to send somebody. Something is going down, and you're not going to send somebody? Okay. So those are my initial reactions. The 911 dispatch lady, just total mouthy asshole. My guess, white woman. Privileged. Never been on the other end of a cop's gun. Probably think the cops could do no wrong. Surrounded by a bunch of cops, so she's super protected, right? Probably can't understand how everybody else... <laughs> All you gotta do is just do what they say and everything is... Just yeah, yeah, you got the secret. Yeah, yeah, you just know how to um, behave. <sighs> or maybe men are pigs. And they like the way you look. So she gets the privilege. She gets to dismiss him like he didn't fucking matter. And then the cop gets on the scene not knowing what's going on. There's a gun, not a gun. There's an argument. He only hears a couple lines. Dispatch, they're just fucking dicks. They're fucking dicks. So I wish, you know, 911 dispatch, if people are calling into you, there's a crisis or an emergency. I don't know how to come at, no, I don't know how to come at anybody, frankly. If I say, hey, you know, there's a bad situation, can you come right, can you come quick, can you send somebody out? Or you need to be calm and collected, okay, this happened, that happened, and just be all real mathematical. What the fuck does it take? What the fuck does it take? I think 911 dispatch plays games, you know, some people's, Lives matter and other people's lives don't. Black lives do matter. Isaiah Brown's life does matter. He got killed like a fucking dog in the street for having a telephone. He's the victim. He's the one that called this, you know, phone call in. Something was happening. Something was going on. And the brother doesn't show his best, you know. I think he could have, you know, he could have been the calm one. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I give them both the benefit of the doubt. But one of them could have been on some shit. So... He could have just been like, you're making me mad because, you know, you're coming in here drunk and you're saying you want to do this and that and you keep calling the cops and what have you. Maybe he's hurt. Maybe he needs to talk. Or maybe the brother was sitting there fucking with him, you know, right beforehand and now he's being, you know, Mr. Angel. So you don't know what the fuck happened right, you know, before the phone call. You know Isaiah Brown. You know he's a nice, you know, gay man. Nice gay black man. Maybe he calls in too many times. Or maybe he lives in a goddamn world that James Baldwin said he was a gay black man, so he didn't have a choice to be a conformist. He had to be a unique individual. He had to be his own person. Same thing, I want to say Elijah McClain was a gay black man, too. Seems crazy. They said it was the same deputies, too, that they called, I think he was at the bar or something, and they took him home while his car broke down. So the same deputies who took him home are the same ones that come back so they knew the guy. They knew who he was. You got a phone up to your head. You got a phone up to your head. How does that look like a gun, for one thing? And then, you know, saying, do you have your hands up or what have you? What did you type in? What did you just type into the thing? He's got a gun and he just threatened his brother? Well, fuck that. Cop is probably on orange, you know, terror alert. Right? Martial law. Shit's about to go down. He's got a gun, threatening his brother. What the fuck's going on? Now come up to the scene, and he's got this black object next to his hand. If she wasn't so rude and shitty and dismissive, why don't you take your job serious? Why don't you take uh, the lives of the people serious, 911 dispatch lady, and anybody else that talks, you know, down the people. If they're calling 911, then that means there's a situation that's going down. I'd rather not call 911. Yeah, for the most part. But if there's a situation that's out of control, I like to think 
you'd be able to take me goddamn serious. You guys are the good guys, right? The cops are the good guys? Then why don't you want to go after the bad guys? Why don't you want to go capture the criminals? So that was my initial, my initial reaction on Isaiah Brown.